Hello everyone, my name is Dee and welcome to Books and Quirks. Today is Friday, so I'm going to get right into my Friday reads. I only have a few minutes to film today, so I didn't have time to put on any makeup, so sorry for my plain appearance. But, um, but that's okay. I mean, we all want to hear about the books anyway, right? So the first book that I want to read this weekend, and I started a little bit of it, and that is Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. Glass Sword is the second book in the Red Queen trilogy. It was my TBR pick out of my jar for the month of February. It was one of the one of the picks. And I'm really excited. I've had this book for quite a while, so I'm excited to get right into that world again. Red Queen is an awesome YA fantasy, in my opinion. It is a world where magical abilities are based on blood. So there are two types of people in this world. There are the silver bloods, and they're sort of the upper ruling class, and they have magical abilities. And then there is the lower class, the servants, which are the red bloods, and they don't have any abilities. And they just, you know, slave for the silver bloods. So like I said, I'm really excited. This book seems to pick up right where the first book left off. Um, also in the first book, you know, it says on the on the flap, so it's not a spoiler, but the main heroine of the story is a red blood and she manifests an ability. So it follows, you know, that everything goes haywire from there and it's just packed with, um, with a lot of action. I think this is going to be a trilogy. I'm not quite sure. It doesn't say anywhere on the book, um, but we'll see. So I'm really excited. It's a little bit of a chunker, but I think that it'll be a very exciting read and I'm, I'm so happy that this was a, the pick for the month because I'm in the mood for it anyway. The next book that I want to pick up this weekend, and I want to continue on from last week, and that is *The Princess Diaries* by Carrie Fisher. I'm about a quarter way of the way, a quarter of the way through this, and I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, I just love Carrie Fisher so much. So sad she's gone, and she's just so funny. Even though these are her diaries from her diary entries or her journal entries from the time of making the first Star Wars film. It's just, she's so funny, even in just these, um, these entries, these, uh, in her writing, it's just amazing. I think she's just an amazing person, a very smart person and an extremely witty person. The next book that I want to get to this weekend is The Psychopath Test by John Ronson. This I'm also about halfway through, um, you can see where I am in the book. This is such a hilarious book. This is a nonfiction. John Ronson is, you know, a, a pretty well-known nonfiction author. He sort of writes these books around these social experiments or these, you know, or these sort of like pranks, practical jokes. And this book, okay, so this book, I know it has a little of a little bit of a macabre title. But I hope you believe me when I say that John Ronson takes something that is macabre and takes something that could be depressing and makes it into a hilarious novel. Um, so in this book, he is hired. He's a, a journalist, and he is investigating a hoax where a pretty cryptic book is sent to some top scientists in around the world. Nobody knows who sent it. It was sent anonymously, and it's really a weird book. It's, you know, 30 pages long, and it has, you know, a few words on, on some pages. Some pages are blank. Some pages have pictures, and none of it makes any sense. Um, so he's, you know, goes off in this investigation to try to find out who sent this book, why, and, you know, everything, you know, surrounding this, this weird thing that happened. And... Through his journey, he encounters some pretty crazy people, and he sort of delves into an investigation after that of what makes a person, you know, quote-unquote crazy, or, or what makes a person um, a psychopath, or how is a psychopath diagnosed? And 
I just want to read you the blurb on the back because I don't think I'm explaining this or giving it um, the justice that it deserves. But here, here's the, the little blurb on the back. They say one out of every hundred people is a psychopath. You probably passed one on the street today. These are people who have no empathy, who are manipulative, deceitful, charming, seductive, and delusional. The psychopath test is the New York Times bestselling exploration of their world and the madness industry. So this is a nonfiction. It's, I don't pick up a whole lot of nonfiction, um, but this one was quite surprising because, like I said, I'm halfway through and I'm flying through it. So he just makes everything so light and so funny while still explaining some, you know, real effects of the madness industry, as it says on the back. So I just am so enthralled with this. I love it. And I cannot wait to to finish it up. The only other book that I hopefully want to start this week, maybe, I probably won't finish it, but I at least want to start it. And this is a pick both for the Emojiathon challenge that I am taking part in and the Read Harder challenge. And this is the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Society. Potato Peel Pie Society. <laughs> this is a non, um, not a non, it's a regular literary fiction book, you know, regular adult literary fiction book. And it follows this society with this weird name um, during the time of Nazi-occupied Germany. So January 1946, writer Juliet Ashton receives a letter from a stranger, a founding member of the Guernsey Literary Potato Peel Pie Society, and so begins a remarkable tale of the island of Guernsey during the German occupation and of a society as extraordinary as its name. So I've had this book for a long time. It was actually gifted to me. And I never really got around to reading it. So I'm excited to start this because I've been, it's been staring at me on my shelf for such a long time when I needed to pick it up and, and start it. Oh, by the way, the psychopath test was the other TBR jar pick for the month. Every month I'm picking about two slips of paper out of that jar to try to get my TBR down. So that is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you all are going to have a fantastic reading weekend or weekend in general, no matter what you're doing. And yeah, that's all I have for you. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.